Hey everyone. Today I almost didn't even really feel like making a video. Just, it's not that it's been a rough day per se, it's just it's been kind of stressful because work has been ramping up because we've got client meetings coming up next week and it's basically my job to handle all the logistics for them. So yeah, it's been stressful <laughs> because of that. And then I come home and want peace so that I can just relax but then I have to deal with my neighbor's ridiculously annoying barking dog and they've got a German Shepherd puppy that he's had for like a few months now and he hasn't trained it at all the thing has mad separation anxiety or territorial syndrome some I don't know what it is but basically it barks its head off for like 10 minutes at a time at random times throughout the day consistently. It'll bark from at like 5, then it'll start barking at like 7, then at like 9, then at like 11. Sometimes the thing even barks at like 5 or 4 in the morning. It woke me up one weekend and I was mad because it's just like, what the heck, man? I want to come home to peace. But instead, I come home to noise and just annoying things that get to my mental health. So that's today's... Oh my god, this dog is even starting up now. <laughs> I hope my mic can pick it up because my god, it's <laughs> so annoying. But yeah, today's topic is just the importance of kind of just taking time for your mental health, guys. It's really, it's huge. Like seriously, you can tell my mental health is starting to degrade because of me living here and I, I really want to get out. I just, I'm working towards it. I'll actually be taking a trip to see my family uh, later this month or maybe early next month. And part of my plan while visiting them is to go scope out areas where I would actually be interested in living because then I'll be closer to them and I'll be out of big cities like here. So hopefully it'll be just a lot quieter and better for my mental health because I'm, I'm just tired of living in a city. Like uh, I have to deal with the, my neighbor's annoying dog. Like really? Like, come on, man. I don't want to deal with somebody else's bad decisions. Not that him getting the dog was a bad decision, but his bad decision to not train it. And then, well, it actually was a bad decision for him to get the dog because he doesn't have a backyard. The thing goes out on a patio and barks its head off, either because it's bored or it's got like territorial issues or it's got separation anxiety. I don't know what's up with it, but I just don't want to deal with it. <laughs> like, why is it? Why do I have to put up with this guy's problem? Basically, it's it's annoying. So, I just want to go somewhere where there are less people because it'll be better for my mental health. Because then I won't have to deal with all the people who don't take the time to make sure their actions don't affect others. There's just so much of that in the world where people are so selfish that they don't think about how their behavior or their choices impact other people. They're just thinking about me, me, me all the time. And I encounter so much of that in cities that I just want to get away. I know it's kind of a universal thing and there's no real way to get away from it. But statistically speaking, if you get out of the city, you'll deal with that less because there are less people. And that's what I want. Like, I know you can't avoid idiots or morons or selfish people. They're everywhere you go. But at least you can find places where there are less of them just because the population overall is smaller. So that's what I'm trying to do. I just, I've had enough of cities. And yeah, like even out back from my place, there's a nursing home right here that you can't see. And almost all the workers there smoke and like the way my window is placed the smoke will blow right in because of the wind there's like no way to avoid it if there's someone out there smoking the smoke is going to come into my room no matter what and i'm tired of that too like i don't want to deal with their bad habit like why should that affect me as well so yeah it's annoying i mean I need to get out of here. I mean, it's affecting my mental health, as you can tell. Like, just the fact that most of this video has been me talking about things I'm annoyed with. I don't normally do that. That's not me. But it, it's it's a place where I've kind of ended up because of all this BS. So, yeah. It's time for me to focus on my mental health so much that I put it before everything and get the hell out of this place. I just, I'm tired of it. So... Yeah, guys, it's really important to take time for your mental health if you can. Like, uh, you got to prioritize it. Like, it's just such an important thing I've come to learn because, yeah, I mean, you guys have been following me for a while. You have an idea of who I am. Like, me getting affected and riled up and annoyed over things like this, that's not me. That's not who I am. But it's who I'm slowly becoming because I'm staying in this place I dislike. So just prioritize your mental health. Like, really. 
of utmost, <laughs> make it the utmost priority to the point where you're li literally willing to move or will, willing to break up with someone who's bad for you or willing to let go of bad friends or family members. Just put your mental health as one of your top priorities in life. Like really take the time for it. Leave jobs that impact it negatively, consistently. Like it's just important. That's what I did with my last job because it just got so bad after a while. But yeah, <sighs> it's important guys. I mean, I'm at my wits end here. Like I, if I had the money and could afford it, I would have moved out of here pff, months ago. But it's just one of those issues where <sighs> money is a factor and yeah i don't make a whole lot so unfortunately it's something that i can't just do when i want to even though that would be amazing but yeah it's a limiting factor for me for now so uh, just learn from this and <laughs> make sure you prioritize your mental health because it can get to you even if you have a really strong mindset so there you go i mean yeah, I feel like I've been super honest in this video, maybe too much so, but whatever. I I feel like you guys deserve to to see this side of me to show that I'm not perfect by any means. And yeah, there are definitely times where things get to me, like this dog that started up again. Oh my god. See what I have to deal with? <laughs> like, oh Jesus. Yeah. Um I'm gonna end the video here. <laughs> uh, I need to I need to go take some time to just relax. But yeah, so there you go. That's today's video. That's that's all I have for you guys. I'll see you guys in the next one. Arrivederci. <laughs>